Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. All right, so the Seven of Cups, there could be a lot of wishful thinking going on right now. There could be a lot of fantasy-based thinking here, especially in this deck. It's kind of like she's not sure which one to choose, which one of these cups are is she going to, um, you know, choose. So I feel like there's a lot of procrastination, a lot of decision-making, perhaps a little bit being floaty in the clouds here. And with this Ace of Wands at the bottom... This could be about wanting to start one of these new offers, whatever this is. This could be with love. I mean, this is a love reading, but it could be that there's multiple options right now when it comes to maybe other things being involved or career or just avenues that are open here. And I feel like this is just the theme right now is that there could be a lot of passion or a passionate new beginning or potentials, but maybe nobody's doing anything or maybe your person's just kind of um, dragging their feet at the moment with something. Maybe the same goes for you. So it just kind of feels like it's a little bit floaty right now, a little bit maybe um, up in the air when it comes to what to do or where to go from here. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. What is the situation right now in love, the crowning situation right now in the collective? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So that's actually a really good energy because we have the Eight of Swords in reverse beneath this here. So this is about untrapping ourselves from things that maybe we are not wanting to be a part of anymore. Okay, I feel like there's been a lot of soul searching. There's been a lot of going within, a lot of introspection here on your part or on your person's part. And I feel like the wheel is turning regardless. So I kind of feel with this number 10 card, the Wheel of Fortune, it's like things are going to start moving ahead. Things are going to start turning. Um, and with the Seven of Cups being here, it's kind of like... It's moving regardless. So I keep seeing this Nine of Cups in reverse here too. So this can be our wishes being fulfilled, but it's in reverse. So this could be somebody who feels like they maybe can't have what they want. Let's go ahead and look at the energy between the two of you. So you and whoever you're dealing with right now in the collective, what is the energy between you and your person? What is the energy between you and your person? Four of Pentacles and the Fool. Eight of Cups beneath that. So it feels like there's already been some distance here. I mean, this is probably going to be for you again if you've been in no contact or no communication. And it feels like kind of with this Eight of Cups beneath the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune showing too, there's a lot of like what ifs or what could be or what could become. But I feel like there's ultimately a holding back or holding on right now in the collective between you and somebody else. So they could be holding on to you, you holding on to them. We'll look at them and see what's going on. But I feel like there is something about having to kind of let go. I mean, the fool is always going to leap with her heart. She's always going to go after just a risk. And I feel like um, for somebody here, there's something about not wanting to take this risk or having a hard time taking this risk. It could even be holding on too tightly to something that needs to be over with. That could be it for some of you too, because I do feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, there's something I'm getting like a vision of things are sweeping regardless. So it's like the wheel is going to turn if you're in the path of it. It's just going to sweep you away with it. So I feel like things are going to keep turning here because it's time. It's time to turn. It's time to move forward. It's time to grow. And I feel like there has been a resistance or a reluctance on you and somebody else together, the two of you, to either take a leap of faith together or to just kind of go off into a different pathway. And so I feel, yeah, see the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of burden right now. The Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands to me is really like holding on very tightly to a lot of stress, a lot of burden, a lot of maybe carrying things on your back. So there's a need to really wipe the slate clean. There's a need to really make a decision right now and to move forward. And for some of you, that is going to be just moving forward to a new path entirely. Um, and there's got to be kind of an elimination of what's not real. And I feel like there has been some maybe wishful thinking on things that are not really based in a solid foundation right now. Let me get a sip of water here.
So one more card here, the energy between you and your person and the collective, you and this person. What's the energy between the two of you? Yeah, Ten of Swords in Reverse. So we have two tens here right on top of each other. So this is really having to let go of pain, let go of, um, I mean, the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords reversed to me is kind of a refusal to, like I just said, either let the pain go and move on to maybe a new connection or a new partner or let the pain go and come back together and kind of forgive each other. And that's where I feel there's a lot of like, fantasy based thoughts about how this is going to happen or if this should happen so king of swords reverse here um so i feel with this king of swords reverse this could be an air sign libra gemini aquarius but it doesn't have to be um but this could be also somebody who was maybe a little bit harsh i mean he's very harsh in this picture here But the two of you together right now are really trying to cope with this ending. You're really trying to cope with some form of pain. It doesn't actually have to be an ending between the two of you. I'm getting two different messages here. For some of you, this is the, you both having gone through a lot of pain together. And you're both holding on to that. And you're both kind of holding on to that pain. Or maybe one more than the other. But um, that's what I'm feeling here. And, and it's kind of causing things to be stuck and to be stale. And then for others of you... It might be that somebody is holding back on opening up to you because of their own pain or because they have recently gone through pain or vice versa. Um, let's actually clarify the Ten of Swords here in reverse for the energy between you and this person and the collective here. Energy between the two of you, Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, Knight of Wands reverse and the Five of Cups. Five of Swords beneath that reverse. Queen of Swords, Death reversed. Seven of Swords. So I do think that with the Five of Cups here too, again, there's a lot of grief, a lot of sadness, a lot of emotional um, kind of, of pain here that's coming through. And with that Knight of Wands reverse, I feel like this could be somebody who was very off and on with you, who was very just in and out of your life here. So right now, it's kind of like you both are knowing that things are going to shift. Things are inevitably going to change in some direction. Let's go ahead and look at your person. Who are you dealing with? Who is the collective thinking about right now? Who is the collective thinking about? What's going on here? No communication. Who is the collective thinking about? Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands reversed, and we have the Five of Wands, and I'm seeing the Three of Swords at the bottom. So they are in the middle right now of some conflict. It could even be some pain that's on their end too. The Eight of Wands reverse is just not moving forward. There could be a lack of communication right now coming from them, a lack of movement. And it's kind of like they're halted in the middle of this, like, they're like in the middle of this Five of Wands. They can't seem to, to move. It's like I'm getting like stuck going round and round and they can't seem to move. So same kind of energy as the Seven of Cups up here too. It feels like there's something here that's stuck. And this Wheel of Fortune, I feel, is trying to come in and churn things. And I think that there's a lot of like, residue here that has to be let go of and so there's still a resistance there's there seems like a clenched resistance here in the connection between you and this person still so what's going on in their life right now what's this what, what's going on in your person's life what's the five of wands here for what's going on in your person's life page of pentacles Let's get some of these Kipper deck cards, and I'm going to get some Lenormand as well to clarify. I want to see what this is about. The Page of Pentacles can be younger. It could be a younger um, Earth sign here. It could even be a child, but the Pages are somebody who wants to offer something very friendly, very young. 
why is the five of wands here for your person? Why is the five of wands here for your person, the collective? Yeah, okay, I was going to say, it could just be that they are kind of still a little bit immature, this person, whoever this is, because I'm already seeing we have the Knight of Wands reversed here. So this may have been a cycle with them for a while, and I feel like they're sitting here, especially if they're a man, so I feel like this is the same person here. Um, we do have the mask card at the bottom too, so this is somebody who's kind of in, in a way wearing a mask or wearing a bit of a, um, a bit of a false facade because they're not really being they're not really being genuine when it comes to what decision to make. There's a lot of wishy-washy kind of thinking here with the Seven of Cups as well. So I feel like this is about, am I going to offer something? Who am I going to offer it to? Or what, what am I going to offer it to here? So your person at the moment, they are contemplating making maybe a decision. I do see here with the, with the two pathways. So they can either go here or they can go here. And so they have to decide what to do. And right now they're not moving because the five of wands is here. So they seem to be struggling right now with making a choice. I am seeing we have the birds beneath this here and the polar bear and the woman. So when I see the, the birds and I see the mask, it could definitely indicate that there is something going on externally here, which this could just be maybe an influence around them that's in, that's 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 um, influencing their path because we do have the five of wands here. So your person at the moment, they are feeling conflicted. They feel like they're in the middle of conflict or I should say um, a struggle. They're in the middle of a struggle here when it comes to making a choice, when it comes to how to maybe offer something. This man has a rose in his hand. And when I see the page of pentacles, it could be about making an offer to you. It could be about making an offer to this connection, but they're very much seeing it in the clouds. They're very much seeing it as something that they're not sure if they should, if they should do this or not. They're not sure if this is the right idea or not. So they're choosing to be in the eight of wands reversed right now because they don't know if they should proceed. Let's see what the um, external factors are here before we look at how they feel about you. I just want to see what is the external factors or influencing factors in this connection for the collective right now in love. What are the influencing factors? Okay, we have the Six of Cups reversed, and we have the Queen of Wands reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. So the Six of Cups reversed, Queen of Wands, we have fire energy coming through here as well. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this with a little Norman because I'm getting two different messages with this. I feel for some of you, this is the same kind of thing, like letting go of the past or letting go of any past energies and, and, and moving forward. What is the external factors or influencing factors here in this connection right now? Six of Cups, Queen of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so we have the whip here and we have the loyalty. So for some of you, your person could still have something going on to which they feel like they have to be loyal to. Uh, with that five of wands showing too, they may feel like they have, they're, they're, they're in the middle of maybe some conflict because the whip card is typically about arguments. And, and when I see it next to the loyalty card like this too, uh, it could be that there's something here that's not being released from the past. What is this is here for, for the influencing factors, the whip, six of cups, the queen of wands. But at the same time, I feel like I'm getting a dual message here for some of you. It's just your person, whoever you're dealing with, 
is struggling to get it together when it comes to committing or when it comes to loyalty. That's actually what I'm getting as well because we have the Hermit and the King of Swords reverse here. We have Virgo energy and also Air again. We had this earlier. So it's like getting down to business and actually making something happen. I feel like that could be it as well. So there could be something here where maybe there's a lot of distrust between, uh, mistrust between the two of you here. And I feel like that could be what this is indicating here. Okay. So we'll... Let me look at how your person feels about you here. Because we have the Six of Pentacles reversed beneath that there too. So there's something about a lack of give and take here. So how is your person feeling about you, whoever this is? How are they feeling specifically about you? How is this person feeling about you right now? We have the Ace of Swords and we have the Six of Wands reversed. So they're definitely having a major breakthrough when it comes to their feelings for you. The Ace of Swords can be blunt truth. It can be blunt honesty here. It could be just clarity that they want to bring through. But we do have the Six of Wands reversed here. So they may feel like they don't have um, the victory for this right now. There's something that's, that's holding them back for sure. We have the Chariot, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Wands all in reverse. So same kind of thing. It's like this person's sort of just floating right now. They're not really doing much. Um, they, they're they very much indecisive. They feel like they can offer something. But I feel like they, they question if what they have to offer is enough for you at the moment. Because the Six of Wands being in reverse would be kind of a lack of maybe confidence. Or they don't feel like they have enough. And they're coming through as a page of pentacles too. So they may be struggling with... Um, potentially their finances for some of them, or they may just be feeling like they have an idea, but the idea is very immature or it's just very, it's not, it's not full in bloom here. What is this Ace of Swords for how they feel about you? How does this person feel about you in the collective? Yeah, they are coming through with this clover energy, which is typically about luck, but it's also like a good time. It's somebody who just wants to keep things kind of light. Um, how are they feeling about you? But they do, we have the bridge here and we have the well. It's like, I feel like this person does want to clarify something with you. They do want to reach out to you. They do want to bring you clarity. The bridge card is about reconnections. The, the well is about, you know, going deep into a well here. So I feel like there's something that runs very deep. So, what does this person want with you? I don't know why they feel, we have the Page of Wands reversed again with the Three of Swords. So they could be afraid of rejection. This person could be afraid of being rejected here. We have the Eight of Pentacles sideways and we have the, the Magician. So what I'm getting actually is like, I feel like this person's in the process right now of trying to figure out what they can offer you. And I feel like they feel like it's just a thought. It's just an idea right now because there's already been a lot of pain here in this connection, either between the two of you or maybe their own life experience or which, whichever one here. And I feel like they want to kind of renew something with you in a way that's going to bridge this but i feel like they're wondering if either they're going to get hurt or if they're going to hurt you page of wands reversed here with the three of swords it's like they don't they're coming through as two pages here so it's like they're moving kind of in a bit of a slow fashion right now when it comes to what to commit or how to commit and then we have the magician with eight of pentacles they could be really again focused on their finances right now or they could be really focused on how are they going to there's something about them that feels maybe like they're a little bit insecure or they could have some insecurity issues when it comes to what to bring you or what they're, or how they're going to bring you in this situation. 
So that's what I'm getting. I think that they want clarity. I think they want to bring you clarity. I think that they want to sit on it for a little bit while longer here. Yeah, the time card to try to figure out if this is the best route to go. Should they do this? Should they not do this? Um, there is something here about things turning because it's time. It's time for things to turn. It's time for things to move forward. It's time to step out of the box is what I'm getting to. It's time to do things differently. Um, and I feel like I feel like for the blockage, that whip card and the Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, I actually feel like that's for that's you for most of you, unless you know that your person's attached to something very controlling. Um, it really could go either way, but I feel like there's something about them feeling like they have to get things in order. They have to get things together. And they're in the process of working on this manifestation right now. So they feel like they just don't have like the confidence or the guts to come forward to you right now. Maybe they are, because they're still in the middle of trying to find with this five of wands, they're still trying to find their wand. They're still trying to move. They're still trying to move forward and they're in the middle of this conflict. So they feel like they're holding on to what they know or they're holding back. What's going on in this person's life? What's going on with your person right now? What's going on with your person? Yeah, see, they're really in a heart fog. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, clutter. We do have confusion. We have elusive and we have the mirror card. See, shared feelings, reflection, and you. This is actually bouncing off of your energy too, which is why I feel for some of you, you're sharing the same energy. You're, you're kind of picking up on each other's energy. So if you feel like your person at the moment is at a crossroads and they know that they have to make a choice, I think that that's true. I think that there are a lot, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of mixed signals. We have two things about like how, which pathway to go. So they're just simply confused. And I feel that... We have the elusive card here too. Why are they being elusive? What's the elusive card here for for this person? Yeah, they do have some sidetrack energy going on here. I'm getting for some of them that they... That's why I'm getting two different messages here. Because I feel like we have the past love and we have the six of cups here in reverse for the challenge with the sidetrack. So for some of them... There could be either them, they're sidetracked right now with something else... And they're thinking about you and they don't know how to, to they don't see the, con they're conflicted. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how to cope with that. Should they stay where they're at? Should they, should they come forward to you? The damage has already been done here. They don't know what to do. Uh, and then for others of you, perhaps there's somebody from their past that they maybe are either still attached to or that they have some karma with, with the, with the whip card being there. Um, what is this queen of wands here for? Spiritual connection, clashing, solitary. No, it just feels like they're trying to maybe drown out this connection with you. They're trying to drown out what this was or what this what this is. And and I feel like you both feel like you're kind of still holding on a bit, but there's differences or there's there's a sense of maybe having to withdraw from the connection here, not being able to, to deal with it. So if some of you have put kind of pressure on this person, they may feel that or they may know this. They may know that you 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 know what you want kind of thing. How do they feel about you? Any confirmation here for um, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Wands? How's this person feeling about you? Yeah, they're not in the they're not ready for this right now, and that's what I what I'm saying. We have the roaming wild card with the Euphoria card and the distance card. So for whoever this person is, I feel like they are trying to keep their distance from you. But at the same time, it's like they're trying to still figure out if they want to let you go or not. 
and that's just what I'm getting here because here's this page of wands reversed with the three of swords. So this information right here with the roaming wild, the euphoria, this is this person knowing when I confirmed what do they want with you. They either know that they're going to hurt you and they know that this is a spiritual connection. They know that the two of you are kind of clashing because of that. And they know that you have that kind of like, not in a bad way, but you have that whip <laughs> with the loyalty. Like you, you're the one who is, you know what you want. And I feel like they know that you know that, or they know that that's how they, they know <laughs> what you want basically. And I feel like they at the moment are feeling like, yes, I want to come through. I want to bring clarity. I want to have a good time. The clover, not necessarily bad intentions, but the clover is, is just happy-go-lucky card. And I feel like with the six of wands being in reverse, it's like they may not have the right intentions when it comes to acting out of pure love. It may be just more of a little bit of ego attached there too. But I genuinely feel like this person... It's like it's a deep thing for them. It runs deep for them. But they just have a hard time really putting the dedication into the connection with you. And so they are going to ultimately try to keep their distance because they're afraid of hurting you again. Or the universe could be stepping in and assisting in this too because I feel like they're not ready. Um, I feel like this person's just kind of in, a, in, the, in the state of mind right now where... They're going to kind of keep you as, I know it sounds bad, but they're going to keep you kind of as an idea and they don't want to close the door on this entirely, but they also don't want to potentially close the door on other things. And I feel like that's where they're going to be at right now. So... Let's get some messages from them. Messages from this person to you. No contact. What does your person want you to know? What is this Ace of Swords about? What does this person want to say to you? No contact, separation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have here, I want you, despite the challenges, we have in transition and we have tempting offer. Yeah, they're kind of tempted by you in a way because I feel like, well, it goes both ways. It's like you're tempted by them potentially and they're tempted by you. But I do feel like with this in transition card and the, um, I want you despite the challenges, they do want to bridge this with you. As I'm saying, I feel like with that Ace of Swords and the bridge card, this person wants to at least try to bridge communication with you. They want to bridge some form of contact with you in order to keep things kind of floating. And I feel like that's both fair and unfair because I feel like they, at the same time, they um, they may not be ready for the commitment. And I feel like they don't want to necessarily lose what they have built or what they feel that they have with you. But the two of you are still kind of on a little bit of a dif dif uh, different wavelength there. How does your person feel about you? But the Page of Pentacles is a genuine offer. I mean, I keep being drawn to that Page of Pentacles because that's somebody who's really going to be very friendly and very, um, just very friendly. But it's it's also, you know, it's a young, it's a young energy. Yeah, at the bottom we have here, hide and seek. Come look for me, come find me. A little goes a long way. Your energy is so contagious. I am waiting for you to remember. One more card here. How's this person feeling about me? 
Yeah, see? Come have some fun with me. And we have, you feed me in ways no one else could. So again, this person feels very tempted by you somehow. And they, they know, though, that that's what I'm really getting the more I go through the reading. It's like, they know that this would be a choice for them to make that would... They would have to, you know, eliminate other things. They would have to get it together. And I feel like they're halfway there because their energy is not coming through is very bad. It's just that I feel like this has already been a cycle. You know, this has already happened. And so they feel like they just kind of want to have fun with you here. They could be waiting for you or they could be waiting for you to remember. Um, and then we have a little goes a long way. And hide and seek so it's kind of like a bit of an immature game too that they're trying to play hide and seek here or maybe the two of you both are or something along those lines here um a little goes a long way it's like they just want one bite <laughs> or they just want one like tempting offer from you and then i feel like they will eventually kind of maybe unfortunately right now not stay for very long let me get a couple more messages and then we'll go into the outcome okay i just want to see Anything else that this person wants you to know? Let me see which ones I'm going to use. Um, okay, sorry, I couldn't find them. I'll see use these Hidden Truth Oracle by All Things Intuitive. Anything else that your person wants you to know? your person want you to know yeah I hid from you who I really am I hope that you can forgive me one day you came closer than anyone that's kind of what they're telling you here too it's like I feel like no one has really understood them the same way as you no one has really been as deep the well the spiritual connection but because of that it's like they felt that maybe they've always felt this way or maybe this is recent but they have felt like this was kind of like a controlling thing or not it doesn't have to be controlling but something about it was like you were maybe in your power and they felt like this was too much to handle for them and so they're kind of thinking about you because they see you as this like empowered individual, this queen of wands. And I feel like they are kind of intimidated by it though at the same time, because they know that this is a clashing thing because the two of you kind of share this, this depth, but they have not been able to meet that. So it's like, they're missing you in the process but yet they still come forward to you in the same way. So that's why they're at this crossroads with that man with his rose in his hand. Like, am I, I have to kind of clear up the clutter in my heart, clear up the clutter. Yeah, they wish they treated you better. They didn't treat you right. And I feel like they know that and they still know that. But there's something about them feeling like they're still not ready. And they're, they're like intimidated to come forward to you because they know that you would either have that whip ready, <laughs> metaphorically, of course, um, or maybe not, <laughs> but I feel like you would, you would just be ready to kind of speak your truth here. This person want to say to you, so they hid from you who they really are. So yeah, they definitely lost themselves for a little while. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So they definitely feel like they did kind of lose themselves they lost themselves in maybe everyday life or whatever has been going on for them and i feel like that could be with that five of wands the seven of cups up there i'm just curious now what did they, what did they hide about themselves what did they hide about themselves okay they definitely seven of swords Nine of Cups reversed, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Chariot, Moon reversed. So there has been some reasons to why they have not been moving forward to you for a while. And I think that... The Seven of Swords would definitely indicate a little bit of sneaky business here. 
What did they hide from you? Yeah, the moon. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely hid something. I feel like it's really a lot of their own issues, though. Here's the Six of Cups again. The star. I feel like it is a lot of their own issues that they have just hidden a lot of things about themselves in general here. But there is something in the way. I keep seeing it, but I don't really know what it is. So it's going to be different for a lot of you. Uh, it could be somebody else involved. It could be another connection involved. It could be that they have to make a decision right now on just leaving their life behind potentially here and moving forward to you. Um, yeah. So let's see what's going to happen here. What is the update here in June? You and this person, no, no contact here. What is the possible future? What's coming in in this connection? What's coming in in this connection? Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles that flew out sideways like this. We have the Sun and the Eight of Swords reversed with the Five of Swords reversed. So the sun in reverse is still something about not having that clarity, you know, not really having full clarity on something here. I do feel with this ace of pentacles that there could be a pending offer, but it's, it's kind of, again, it's, it's, um, it's not, it's not being revealed right now because I feel of everything else that we've seen in the reading. So with the eight of swords in reverse too, I feel like that's saying more that there has to be that energy. There has to be a, um, a releasing of fear, a releasing of what's been holding things back here. What's coming in between you and this person in the next few weeks, months? What's coming in here between you and this person? Yeah, there's still something else though here. So we have the lost card. We have hoping. We have the dark attachments card with the lust card here. And we do have the chase I feel like there's still a lot of this. This is the same energy that over here, it's like this person may want to kind of just be very non-committal right now. They might either, they might even be chasing other things, the seven of cups. That could definitely be a possibility. And it's like during this time that they've been losing themselves, they have been very attached to you too. But again, they have to step it up and they know that they have to really um, meet you at that level. And I think that they have been maybe hiding. What I'm actually getting to is that they could have been hiding that they have been, for some of you, if that resonates, that they have been kind of maybe looking for other things or they have been kind of chasing a thrill here because there is definitely something about that type of environment or that type of lifestyle. Maybe you already know that, but... I feel like there's going to be kind of like a feeling of having a missed opportunity. And I feel like this is going to be the, the sort of the clarity coming through that th there's really not enough happiness in a superficial environment. And I think that this person may kind of realize that, but it's also going to be a slow process. So I wouldn't really, you know, wait for it, I feel, but there's, there's a sense of losing this connection, but wanting to manifest something or wanting to hope for this connection back. And I think that that's where your person is going to be at. Um, but they see, they, they really messed up, I feel, and they really, they really have, have felt like they did. And I think that they, there are, there is a level of regret here going on too, but they have sort of been with that seven of cups up there as well. Um, it's what I'm getting with that is the same thing. And the Knight of wands reverse, it's like, there's been a lot of holding on to you, holding on to this connection, but also holding on to a sidetracked energy. And because of that, it has led the two of you to clash. It has led the two of you to not connect on that level that you should. And so they've been viewing you in that way, that you're too much or that you're too much of a, of a burden for them. When in reality, I think that they're still keeping this door with you open. But, you know, again, I think that they have a hard time with, with games and with 
just kind of viewing you or keeping you in the category of maybe having fun, but not really being committal to you. So yes, it's a tempting offer for you. It's a tempting offer for them. And I think you both feel that way. And I think that they still want you despite the challenges. I don't necessarily feel like they're going to maybe go away. They might, if this person and you talk every now and then, then they could definitely still come back around in your direction. But I don't think they're, they're, they're going to see the loss of this if they haven't already. But there's a lot of stuff that they have to reveal to you. Okay. So let's just close it up with some final messages. Any final messages from your person for where things are heading? Any final messages from your person? Where are things heading? What's the outcome? How do they feel? What else needs to come through here? Yeah, I need to take a step back because I'm still trying to figure out what I want. I know I've acted childishly. I don't know how to approach you now. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We're connecting. We have, I'm not sure if we feel the same way about each other, unrequited. And we do have the stubborn card at the bottom. Here's the choice. Yeah. So they have to, they have a choice to make. They feel like they're stubborn. They feel like that's part of the reason why they're not moving is because of stubbornness as well. Um, they're, they could be seeing you again as like a temptation or they're tempted by you. They're still haunted by their actions. So they're right now... They feel like that's another thing that's keeping them from coming forward to you because they already know that they messed up. And that's another reason why that whip could be there is because they could see you as somebody who, like, you already know their secrets or you already know their intentions or you, or you just kind of feel it. And they know that you know. And I feel that they feel damaged. You both feel damaged, perhaps. And so when they're telling you that they're not sure if you feel the same way about each other, I think that it's not so much that they don't care for you because they feel like things are still left unsaid. Whatever happened recently here, they still feel like things are left unsaid. They still feel like there's no clarity here. The sun reversed. And I get, and I'm, I'm getting like in the back of their mind, in the back of your mind, there's a sense of wanting to hope for the connection still. There's a sense of wanting to hope for what was once a possibility, but it's sideways. So it's not, it's not necessarily gone, but it's not really here. And it all goes back to your person having to make a choice, having to get out of the, the muddled thinking. They got spooked many times because of this connection. Like I said, I think that they feel intimidated because they see you as a spiritual connection and it makes them, it makes, it's difficult for them. They'd rather kind of float in their fantasy world right now because it's easier. And they also may have hid a lot of things from you about that lifestyle or about that energy. So they're kind of struggling right now because they're struggling with not being totally satisfied with that lifestyle and then being on the other end of that wanting to kind of yeah see the grass is not greener they already know that but they are trying to resist the temptation of you because they have a plan i feel in the future to try to win you back or to try to come back around but they're trying to hold back because they know um that they have to come correct you are special to me even though i told you otherwise yeah, they still love you. Exactly. It's like they're a better person because of you. So they really look up to you, I feel. This person here um, really sees you of, of how you have made them grow, how you have allowed them to grow and be a better person. I definitely see that here. We have, I know I made a huge mistake. I still love you. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. And then this card flew out. I don't know how I feel anymore, which is kind of contradictory to this one here. But we did have that other card too, the unrequited. So it's not that they don't, I don't think it's saying that they don't love you. I think it's just saying that they don't know how they feel when it comes to this connection. They don't know how they feel when it comes to should they invest in this or not, like I said. So um, yeah. 
They're a better person because of you. They made a huge mistake. They know that. Because you came closer than anyone else. So if some of you have that question, you know, about why did this person maybe disconnect with you recently or why did something happen? That's what I feel. I don't think this is a personal thing. I feel like they really look up to you. It's just an intense connection, the spiritual connection. And they thought it was easier to kind of gravitate towards what was easier. And at the current moment, they're sitting there on that chair with the rose, thinking about if they should just offer what they have to offer, which is going to be less than maybe you want. Or should they just kind of surrender to the temptation of you and come forward to you knowing that they could hurt you or maybe you wouldn't even want them? Well, they don't know what to do about that. And even if they were to come through, they're, they're not going to be in the best frame of mind at the moment to still um, invest in the connection with you. So that's what I would say. It's not that they're not maybe thinking about you or that they don't care anymore, but they do have a lot of stuff to work through and perhaps even things that they have not told you about that has, has, been, a, has been preventing them from really coming forward to you that maybe you didn't know about. Okay, so let's get the final advice card from the Love Compass Oracle. What is the advice for the viewer? What is the advice? That's too many cards, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah. Home and family wants to keep flying out. It'll come out again if it wants to. What is the advice for you? Divine counterpart and forgiveness. This person is a divine counterpart or you are aligning with your twin flame, you are connecting spiritually or astrally with one another. This is a coming together with a mirror soul to achieve something on an energetic level. Your heart needs to be in the communication of forgiveness. Fully forgive yourself and others. Let go of self-blame and guilt. Forgiveness will allow you to move forward and to heal. It will create more space for love in your life. And we have support. Your spiritual team is assisting you with this situation. Reach out uh, excuse me, reach out with your awareness and call forth what you need in your life at this moment. Open up and allow yourself to receive help from those around you. Your angels and guides are working through other people to, to provide the support you need. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of, um, with the sun in reverse here, a lot of just cloudiness, not knowing what it is, not knowing what to do. And with the lost card here too, I do feel like you both kind of mutually feel like there was a loss of what could be. And that's not to say it won't be like that forever, but I think there's a need to, for forgiveness right now. There's a need to untrap yourself from maybe feeling the sorrow or feeling this loss. This definitely could be a twin flame connection for some of you because we do have that spiritual connection up here too. And it's like you both really need this. You both really need some closure. And I think that in time it, it may come. See? I hope you can forgive me one day. So they're kind of waiting maybe energetically for your for your forgiveness. And I think that with that four pentacles we have beneath here for the two of you together and the ten of swords reverse, that makes perfect sense because I think that you both are trying to let go of the swords of your back. You know, maybe it did hurt them too. Um, or maybe just things in their life has hurt them. And I think that you both need to get to that place of really letting it go remember we have that fool too and the wheel of fortune something has to be let go something has to be clarity has to come in here and i think that you have to find that clarity right now within yourself and i think that when that will happen then maybe one day this could potentially come back around but i wouldn't wait for it necessarily i think that this is what they're saying at the moment is that your spirit team is helping you and assisting you right now okay so I hope that this could help you. I hope this could give you clarity. I jumped on here and I said, okay, I'm going to do a 20 minute reading and it, it just never works. But I know some of you like the longer readings. 
So hopefully I can give you some clarity. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be back to um, post the June uh, Zodiac signs for the general readings. And I will talk to you guys next time. Much love. Much love. Much love.